All right. The other videos are still uploading, but hopefully it'll still run okay. I don't know how good the quality is going to be, but you're here to learn not to see pretty pictures, right? Ha, just kidding. I'll try to make the quality as best as possible. Learn about Cam Studio. I might even try a different recorder because the Linux, the recorder that comes with Linux, the GTK uh, desktop recorder is super good. Uh, it's a lot nicer. And Linux just runs way better for me, but I don't know why. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to go recent projects and we're going to open this uh, tutorial 4, was it? Tutorial 3? Hmm. I guess tutorial 4. Let's just check. I remember what it looked like. Yeah, I think this is it. You guys will know. It, both mine pretty much look the same. It's just I redid them a few times. So, um, we're going to continue working on this one for a while. And basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how... I'm going to use OpenGL. I'm going to show you how I like to use OpenGL with uh, things. So, this is... Just go new file or project and go C++ class. Choose and name it GL GL widget. Uh, it's going to be um, base class is going to be a Q GL widget, and it's going to inherit Q widget. And let's hope it. I hope I. Sp Spell all those right. We'll hope. We'll pray, right? It looks like I may have. If it includes it, yes, okay. So, now it sets this whole thing up for you. Basically, I don't know. I don't like the. Ex I guess I'll leave it. They must have a reason for it. So, first thing we're going to do this class is going to be a base class. So we don't really need any slots. I mean, you can add them if you want. But the thing I'm going to add is, first of all, virtual destructor. So, oh, V I R T U A L, a virtual G L, virtual G L widget. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is, just because we want the other classes to uh, have it, but we don't want to have it right away, you know, because this is going to be run behind the scenes, you'll see in a second what it is, it's going to be a virtual void, I uh, in initialize, a, okay, initialize gl, i-n-i-t-i-a-l-i-z-e, gl, hopefully, that I, I'm not sure if that spells it right, um, well, we'll hope. I think it is. Virtual void uh, paint gl equals zero and uh, void resize gl int width and int height. And we're going to implement that and we're going to make uh, another virtual, I guess these are not going to equal zero because we don't want we don't necessarily need to implement these but uh, virtual void mouse press event um, and it takes a Q mouse event I think uh, and we're just gonna do empty parameters mouse move events and um, key press of anything and Q uh, one thing I'm going to check this out because it should be popping up but for some reason the parsing is not happening so I'm going to open one of my older projects and just check it out, I'm sorry. I know it seems like a noob thing to do, but I am a noob. Noob that likes to help people. Using my resources. 
Sorry, from now on I'll do the best I can to remember that. Remember stuff. And this, the reason we're doing this is just so that they can be implemented later, but you don't have to. Um, uh, key press event is just, or mouse press event is, you just press the mouse. A move event is when you're pressing and you move the mouse, like that. Or, and then a key press is just when you press a key. Uh, then resize GL. Let's see, so we're gonna, and this actually takes a QGL. Shoot. Hmm. Well, this works. It's supposed to, I think it's QGL sample buffer. I mean, you don't have to do it, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so void GL widget. I don't know why it's not parsing it. Piecing me off. Resize GL int width and height. It's probably because the YouTube video is uploading. Both my YouTube videos are uploading and um, running Camp Studio and Qt at the same time. So, uh, so first of all, we're gonna do is do a GL viewport. Oh, it's port Kev. GL viewport, and we're gonna do zero. Oh, shoot, zero zero width height and I think I might have forgot something here geo widget I think geo widget includes it but I'm gonna include it anyway include q t ah oh, shoot q t g open gl q gl and do this don't do gl slash gl dot h even though it's there because this does a bunch of if and defs to make sure it's either windows linux or mac and includes the correct file for it which is helpful if you're trying to make your application cross-platform. Um, one sec, I'm going to do something here real quick. I'm just going to pause it. Never mind, I thought I was going to see if it still refused to parse, and it did. Uh, now it refuses to pick up my clicks. So there we go. Okay. So now after GL viewport, we change the GL matrix mode to GL projection. So GL, let me... To GL projection. I hope I spelled it right. Uh, P R O J E C T I O N. Okay, that's right. Um, and we load the identity. And then the next thing we want to do is call GL ortho. And we want to call it at zero width height zero negative one one and then we want to change the GL matrix mode back to or we want to set the GL matrix mode to uh, model view so GL model view and we want to enable GL blend and you can enable whatever you want here but I enable one sec Even though I do this when I'm loading my textures and stuff, I just like to enable these in the beginning. This will. Oh, and I need to do a blend function. Shoot, it's GL blend func. Um, I kind of forgot this. Uh, GL one minus source alpha. Is that right? That looks kind of right. One minus source alpha. I can look that. I can look at that to make sure because it's not being very friendly. Darn you, cute. It's usually the most friendly thing you'll ever see. Uh, I think I put this. I didn't put this until one of my later things though, like uh, map window. Oh, one minus source alpha was right. I was correct. I just didn't have the full thing. Um, haven't done just pure GL for a while. Open GL. Whoops. I guess then we can do this. Um, so that's nice. Um, so the uh, that will allow transparent colors. 
such you know so that you can do like pink the magenta pink background as a transparent color or you can have like alpha channels and stuff that's what that's going to allow and I'm not sure about time uh, and I don't want to go over so there's a geo widget and then to use this you inherit from it and set up and you call these functions basically initialize GL initializes everything in GL like so this is where you enable all your stuff even though I already did that that's where you would do it if you wanted to enable more stuff and then you clear the color at the end of the function clear the color to zero GL clear color zero 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 four zeros and paint GL is where you do all your painting like GL begin GL end or you know use your VBOs and all that stuff that's where you do all that um, I'm gonna see if I can't next tutorial I'm probably that's just I just wanted to do that so you could see how to use OpenGL like raw OpenGL. In the next tutorial, I think I'm going to go more into using a graphics view and a graphics scene, which uses OpenGL but not directly. It uses a Q Painter, which, uh, yeah, my actual input rate 2.49 FPS. Yes.